her favorite, y'all say it here with me, one of her favorite songs, and this song, like Sister Glenn, the McCabe's Joy, I want us to sing God on the Mountain, and I want Sister Glenn to help us, because this is her song. Thank you. 
I love her. I love her and Brother Gunn. They are the reason that my daddy got saved. Now, I can you can be assured that my daddy would have probably never give his heart to God if it hadn't been for Brother and Sister Gunn. And I've told this story many times how I just, whenever Sister Gunn tells me something, I just take it and it's, that's, that's it, okay? You better listen. But one time I didn't. And that was when she stood right there, about where David's sitting, and she grabbed me by the arm. It was probably 15, 16 years ago. And she said, Honey, God is going to save your daddy. I was like, well, I didn't tell her this, but I said, She sure missed God on that one. <laughs> you know. But God showed her, and he did. And I mean, that man was saved when he died. He was saved. You know, and I think I give honor. You know, we yeah. I, we give honor to her. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to just ask a couple of people to come up. We're, we're trying to keep it kind of short. We're going to eat before too much longer. We just, like I said, we're here to wish Sister Gunn a happy birthday and to let her know how much we love her and appreciate her. You know, she's been, she's prayed for every one of us. She's canceled with every one of us. She's probably at the door many times and I'm like, oh, Lord have mercy, you know, and just aggravated, and, but I knew it was the truth. I wasn't doing it to hurt me. Uh, the kisses of the enemy are deceitful, but the wounds of a friend are true, okay? You got a friend that tells you the truth and it hurts, that's your friend. But somebody that kisses, that's okay, that's okay, you can do that, it's all right, God don't care. Uh, the Bible says the kisses of an enemy are deceitful, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, I don't want to put anybody on the spot, we don't want to take up but Keith, do you feel like coming up here or well Uncle Keith's coming. Let yeah. me say something about my granny. Um I was born and raised in this church and literally cut my teeth on those church benches and probably put some of the bubble gum on the cues underneath that's under there. Who knows? And Joanne beat her butt yes. several times. <laughs> Big mama beat my tail many times and Uncle Snoopy got a hold of me a few times and you know, but my granny was one that whenever I was uh, 16, granny took me in charity on revivals. And the entire summer before my 12th grade year, I think I was at home maybe one week because I was traveling the roads with my granny. And I can remember being in church services and praying and, you know, witnessing different things and being in Mexico and seeing things attack granny. And I can remember, you know, earaches and crawling up in my granny's ear or in my granny's lap and her praying for my ears. And those are just the memories that I have of my granny. And I am so 
that I've had my granny for as long as I have and that granny has had such an impact on my life. And I dare anybody to try and tell me that she's not my granny because you'll see this little short <clears throat> four foot something time woman come unglued because that's my granny and I will, I'll fight you over my granny. And granny, I love you with everything I have in me and I am so thankful that God has placed you in my life and now placed you in my husband's life. And I thank God for you every single day. I love you, granny. Okay, is it on now? It's on now. Thank you, Sister Barbara. Uh, I'll try to be brief this morning, but I was thinking about over my life and, and the things that Mama has went through. And Brother James was talking about love in our heart this morning. And I don't know about the rest of y'all. But I feel, yes, I feel it's present in this house today. Yes, Satan don't care if we gather or how much we gather or how many folks are here as long as the Spirit of God don't show up. Right. But when the Spirit of God shows up, Ooh, folks are say. saved and the yoke Amen. is broken Amen. and things happen Amen. when the Spirit of God fills up shows up and I feel him so strong in this house yes, today. Amen. I'm so thankful for that. I was reading this morning. Let me read you a scripture right quick. Take a little minute. It's in first Peter chapter four, verse eight. It says, and above all things, have fervent charity Amen. among yourselves, for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Amen. A multitude of sins. And I was thinking about Mama when I read this this morning. And she's always loved, and she's always went, and she's always sacrificed to reach a soul. Sister Crystal and I was in a little church in West Virginia four or five years ago, and a gentleman walked up to me and he said, Brother Gunn said, you don't know me. He said, far as I know, we've never met. He said, but your mother about 45 years ago come to a little church up in the mountains in Kentucky. And he said, my family was reprobates. My daddy and mama, my brothers, my sisters, me, said we knew absolutely nothing. Said we didn't have a clue what being saved was or nothing about it. And he... He said, I walked in that little church that night and your mother was preaching under such an anointing. He said, the hair on my neck stood up. He said, it scared me so bad. He said, I didn't know which way to run. He said, but I jumped up and run to that altar, not knowing what to do or what to say. He said, beg God to save me that night. He said, Brother Gunn, he said, my wife got saved. My mom and daddy got saved. My brothers got saved and their wives. My sisters and their husbands got saved. And he said, now for several generations in the mountains of Kentucky, my family is known as a godly family. And he said, it's because your mother came and shared the gospel to somebody that didn't have a clue what the gospel was. <laughs> and I come home and I remember this man. She said, honey, I don't even remember preaching in Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> she 
many years ago, she said, I don't even remember being there. But lives were changed and a multitude of sins was covered Amen. in that one family because she went. See, folks, in life, there's not a person here as a Christian that you're, you're, you're going to get knocked down. Yeah. You can count on that. You're going to get knocked down. Amen. And it's not a shame to get knocked down. The shame is laying there. Right. Get back up and fight again. Amen. I remember years ago, this building here was completed in 68 when we moved in it. But before this building was built, we were in the little church. And Mama was going through a severe trial in her life. I mean, one of them that destroys the best of the best. She was sitting on next to the back row in that little building there. And Granddaddy Gunn, he wasn't saved. He was sitting behind her. And they were having communion that night. And she was sitting there with the tears of pudding on the floor. Granddaddy leaned forward and he said, Honey, why ain't you up front? She said, Granddaddy, I'm not. And Granddaddy, he said, Honey, you've got more of God than every one of them hypocrites standing up there. He said, Get up there and take communion. <laughs> Mama stood to her feet and she took communion and she's never looked back. Amen. And I'd like to encourage you today. If you get knocked down, get back up. Amen. Don't quit. Right. Get back up. Amen. Go again. God's always standing there waiting. It don't matter how severe the trial. Amen. God's always standing there with open arms Amen. to welcome you back. The times that Mama went over the years, Daddy received rewards off of her life. Granny Mason, she used to cook for us and feed us. She got a reward too because she was out preaching somewhere. This thing, we're all tied together, folks. Your reward is part of mine and mine is part of yours because we're children of God. And if we work together, that's what God looks at. If we work together to win souls, that's what God looks at. But I, I'll hush, Sister Barbara. Come, come on and get this thing. But Mama, we love you. And thank you for your life. Thank you for your life. That was Crystal, good. Justin, Mama loves you too. Amen. We sure do. We all do. That was good, Keith. Amen. And you know, as a Christian, we should never be down. We should be either up or getting up. Don't let the devil find you down. You either be up or getting up. Amen. And so when, it's not a sin to fall. We fall sometimes. We fail. Um, Helen, did you want to say something, sweetie? I love this lady right here. Amen. Me and her go way back. Not that we're that old, right. but we just go way back, okay? Right. Could be just a few years. But we had some fun times in our past trips to Mexico. Let her come up here and say something about her mama. I'd like to say that's my best friend. Yes. Come on. Thought about growing up. She used to tell me and Cotton, babies, you have ironing on Saturday. We always have to do all the ironing come Saturday. She'd say, y'all got ironing on Saturday, but after you get through ironing, Mama's going to give you some money and you can go to the store. 
and get you some candy and whatever you want. And I remember Mama always loved them little BB suckers. I don't know if y'all know anything about them, but they were little BBs. She loved them, and me and Connie, it just thrilled us to get her some of them and take them back to her. We walked to the store uptown where we lived. We walked through the field to a place called Seminole Manor. But it's still there today. But I remember Mama and all them long, long, long 40 day fast that she would do. And I used to think, Mama, are you going to ever eat? She was skin and bones, but she wanted God. Amen. Above everything, she wanted me God. And I remember she come off of a 40-day fast, hadn't been off of it but just a few days. And the Lord told her, said, you go on another fast now. 18 days, three for each one in the family. Your four children and you and your husband and said if you will fast these 18 days said neither one of them will perish oh. Oh. mama lost a little girl at about five months or so she's up there i'm sure my daddy knows her by now she's up there Connie, Steve, they're done there. And me and Keith is on our way. <laughs> Just whenever the Lord gets ready, we're ready. But we're going to be working in the vineyard of our God until he takes us home. <laughs> I thank God for a mother that raised us right. A lot of things we did not understand. We'd say, Mama, why can't we go stay with so-and-so? Because you can't. Amen. They don't live like they should, Amen. and you can't go around it. Right. A lot of times, me and Connie didn't understand. We used to think they're harder on us than they are the boys. They lay a lot of rules down for us that they didn't lay down for them. But it protected us. Amen. And it kept us in church. Amen. And it got them to heaven. And I'm on my way. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, I know in the hospital when I had to go to the Lord walked in my room and he said, I'm raising you up for a purpose. He said that church will build again. And then will. I'm praying. He told me that this church will build again. And I'm watching them doors. And I'm watching them waiting on them. Come back. I was reading my Bible. So come me gathering in the sheep. Gathering in the sheep. It's our fault or not here. Jesus is going to hold us accountable for it. 
but the Lord spoke to me and said that I was to hold her hands up high. Amen. The devil's tried to hold me back. He's tried to make me sick in my body. I told him, you're a liar. He's a liar. I curse you in the name of Jesus. You get away from me. You get away from my mind. You get away from me. Because you're not going to stop me. In the name of Jesus. I love you, Mom. Amen. That was beautiful. I do believe our church is coming back stronger than it ever was before. I don't know about y'all, but this morning when we were singing that song... God on the mountain, and I felt the presence of the God of all over this place. I mean, it was just, it was like it was just hovering over this place. And I believe with everything that was in me that we're going to come back. I've had several dreams. New life. And they were like, well, I thought they closed down. Well, honey, I need to tell you, knew they closed down. We have a church. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Come on down here and see. I'll be in the John spot. But I do. I'm, anybody maybe one or two more people want say that might want to say something? If you do, if there's a, just a couple more people. Sister Gertie, Sister Gertie, did you? I already had that on my mind, but I didn't want to put her on the spot. I love her so much. I didn't want to put her on the spot. I don't mind spot. putting her on the spot. Well, I do. I love her. I try to be kind. Okay. Unlike my offspring. I'm kind. We love this woman right here. That's my sister. Yes. When I was going to high school, come in and I danced her all over the living room. Lord. I don't remember that, but I'm sure it was true. She probably, um, she probably helped raise me until the gun come along and took her away from me you know <laughs> but um and mommy mommy used to take me down to a little um Baptist church and down in got hammock i i just um she finally talked us into we'll move up here and um i didn't think i did anything wrong i was an excellent